In this example, I need to graph the following rational function by finding any asymptotes, holes, and intercepts. The rational function is f of x equals the quantity x minus 1, all divided by x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now the first thing we have to do is decide, can we simplify our function? So we need to see if we can factor the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is in simplest form, so I leave it alone. So I have x minus 1, all divided by, now looking at our denominator, I have a trinomial, the leading coefficient on the x squared is a 1. So this is one of the simpler factoring problems. Since I just have 1x squared, my first term in my parentheses has to be an x and an x. My two numbers multiply to a negative, so I have opposite signs in the parentheses. They multiply to negative 3 and add to negative 2. As they add to a negative number, the bigger number has to be the negative. So let's check whether x minus 3 and x plus 1 works. If I fall it out, x squared minus 3x plus x gives me minus 2x and then finally minus 3. Now, does anything reduce in my function? Be careful, I cannot reduce the x plus 1 with the x minus 1. So this is my function in simplest form. So now, does this function have any holes? Holes come from when I reduce factors containing x between numerator and the denominator. I couldn't do that in this case. So are there any holes? No, there are none. Next, I need to look for vertical asymptotes. You take the simplest form of the function and you set the denominator equal to zero. So I have x plus 1 times x minus 3 equals 0. Two factors multiply together equal to 0. Set each of them equal to 0. So I have x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. On the first one, subtracting 1 from both sides, I get x equals negative 1. And on the second one, adding 3 to both sides, I get x equals positive 3. So those are the equations of my vertical asymptotes. Next, let's look for horizontal asymptotes. That depends on the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. So looking at my numerator, what's the highest exponent on any of the x's in the numerator? It's a 1, so the degree is 1. How about the denominator? What is its degree? The highest exponent on any of the x's is a 2, so the degree is 2. And as 1 is less than 2, in this case we know the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. That always gives a horizontal asymptote with the equation of y equals 0. Now, does the graph cross the horizontal asymptote? I'm going to answer that when I found the x-intercepts. Because for x-intercepts, we know that y equals 0. Or in this case, f of x equals 0. So setting our function equal to 0, we get 0 equals x minus 1 divided by, I'm going to use the factored form, x plus 1 divided by x minus 3. Now this fraction is going to equal 0 when the numerator equals 0 because that will not simultaneously make the denominator 0. So I'm going to get x minus 1 equals 0. Adding 1 to both sides, I get x equals 1. So my x-intercept is going to be the point 1, 0. So now I can answer the question, does the graph cross the horizontal asymptote? 
Yes, it's going to cross it at the x-intercept and nowhere else. And lastly, I need to find the y-intercept, which we do by setting x equal to 0. So I need to find the value of the function at 0. So that means put zeros here, here, and here in my function. So I get 0 minus 1 over 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 3. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Divided by 0 squared minus 2 times 0 is just 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 divided by negative 3 is positive 1 third. So the y-intercept is at the point 0, 1 third. So now I've found all that information, I need to graph my function. So let me go on to the next slide. Here is all the information that I found on the previous slide. So starting by graphing the vertical asymptotes of x equals negative 1 and x equals 3. Here's x equals negative 1. Remember, asymptotes are always graphed with dotted lines. So there is the vertical asymptote x equals negative 1. Here is x equals 3. There's my vertical asymptote of x equals 3. Next, I have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. Remember, that is the x-axis. So there's my horizontal asymptote. My x-intercept is 1, 0, so that's over here. 1, 0 is right there. The y-intercept is 0, 1 third. so x is 0, y equals 1 third. Estimate it looks about there. Then does the graph cross the horizontal asymptote? Yes, at the x-intercept, which I've already plotted. So I know my graph is going to go from this point through the y-intercept and then approach this vertical asymptote like that. But what happens at this point? Is it going to cross the x-axis or is it going to bounce and turn around? Well, the x-intercept comes from a factor that has an exponent of 1. It's odd. So we expect it to cross at that point. But to double check, I'm going to figure out the value of the function when x equals 2. So plugging a 2 into my function, I get 2 minus 1 divided by 2 squared minus 2 times 2 minus 3, which equals 2 minus 1 is 1, divided by 2 squared is 4, minus 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3. So I'm going to get 1 divided by 4 minus 4 is 0, so 1 divided by negative 3, which is negative 1 third. So that is the point 2, negative 1 third. 2, negative 1 third. Did the graph cross the x-axis there as I expected? Yes. So I can sketch in the middle portion of my graph, as we know graphs never cross vertical asymptotes. So it's going to look something like this, and it's hard to graph on this tablet, so that's about the best I can do. And now we need to figure out what happens to the right of this vertical asymptote and to the left of this one. Remember, the graph only crosses the horizontal asymptote at this point here. So the easiest way to figure out what happens in this region and this region is to calculate one point in each region. So I'm going to figure out the function at negative 2 and positive 4. I'm going to put the video on pause for a second. So I found f of negative 2 by plugging negative 2 into the function, and that resulted in y equals negative 3 fifths. So the point was x equals negative 2, y equals negative 3 fifths, which is about there. 
This graph does not cross the horizontal asymptote in this region. It never crosses a vertical asymptote. So it's going to have to look like this. And I'm going to try and sketch that in. So it's going to look like that. And then my other point, f of 4, gave 3 fifths as the y value. So when x is 4, y equals positive 3 fifths. And as the graph does not cross the horizontal asymptote in this region, it's going to look something like that. And let me try and sketch that in. So it's going to look something like that. So here is a sketch of the graph of this rational function.